Hey guys, welcome to Herding Little Cows to the Glory of God. I had someone ask what I pack in my hospital bag and it's been different each time, but I realized that the hospital has a lot of stuff that I need. I don't need um, to take everything with me. If I have an opportunity to, I'm going to grab my pillow to go with me, but I'm keeping a hospital bag in my car for right now because we go to church a half hour the other direction from where the hospital is. And I don't want to come home and have to pick up my hospital bag if we are at church and I go into labor and have to go to the hospital. I just don't wanna to have to go grab it. Also, we have a couple of doctor's appointments this week that it would just be easier if the bag's in the car. So if I have a chance, I'll grab my pillow. Um, so the other thing that I need besides what's right here, I just remembered, is I'm going to take a bar of soap um, for the hospital to take a shower. But we have a brush and a hair tie. Our brushes have all lost their handles, but the brush still works fine. And I have a little kid toothbrush because it was one clean one that we had in the house. And I don't wanna pack my toothbrush now because this baby could come. If I went into labor right now, I'd probably have a baby within 12 hours if I went with my normal um, my normal schedule of how my labors run. But You've had four babies by this point. Yes, yes I've had four babies by now. So baby could come anytime, but baby could be another 14 days away mm -hmm. would be when my latest baby's been born. Mm -hmm. So we're just kind of in limbo at this point. We'll so these I don't need here at the house, so they're getting packed in my bag. What I'm taking for baby, when we are at the hospital, I do not like to put hats on my babies because that newborn smell is the most amazing smell ever and it's really good for bonding baby and mommy. Um, God made it that way so that when you're holding your baby on your chest or when you have them nursing, you're smelling the baby smell and that's really, really good. Also, it is really good for babies to have skin to skin with mom. It helps them regulate their heartbeat. It helps them regulate their breathing. We have a bird out here. Um, it helps them. Yeah. Pretty little bird. Hey, pretty little bird. Hang on. So it helps us reg helps them regulate their temperature. It helps them regulate their breathing. It helps mom to bond with baby, and it helps with the whole breastfeeding journey. So there's lots of different reasons why it's really good to have baby skin to skin. I do have a couple different outfits for baby because um, last time baby has a name, correct? Elisha. Baby has a name, Elisha. Um, <clears throat> last time we were at the hospital, we were not allowed to have the kids come in because it was COVID time. The baby before that was born right before COVID started. Then it's COVID last time. So this time everyone's going to be able to come see baby. So the outfits that we have, we have this little bag and it's super cute. I think that's, oh, here, another little swaddler thing. We have a couple little swaddler things because they're going to come a couple times to see baby possibly and in case baby poops on something but baby will not be in these when baby's just sitting in the room with me because I'm going to have baby on top of me all snuggled up skin to skin but then in the bag huh in the bag and then we don't know how big baby's going to be Elisha and some of my babies have fit in newborn clothes some have not fit in newborn clothes so I let Abigail who's eight <clears throat> and Naomi who's 17 pick clothes for baby. So Abigail picked the newborn sleeper for him to come home in. Super cute. If he fits in the newborn sleeper. And she also found this little, that's preemie. I really don't think it's going to fit him, but she wanted to put it in the bag anyway. And he had a onesie that will go under the newborn sleeper if that's what he comes home in, if he fits in newborn. If he does not fit in newborn, which, which is, is probably my guess, Ab uh, Naomi picked out this cute little Aww. with these cute little pants mm. and then a sweater because we don't know exactly how warm it's going to be when he's mm. born and then we also have just a blanket to put over him in the car seat so I'm moving everything to different bags because the bag I had stuff in was not working so that's what we have for baby again while baby's at the hospital Elisha will not be wearing very many clothes because he will be all snuggled up skin to skin also because baby is able to regulate all of those things using mom as a cue like breathing and temperature and everything they don't baby does not expend like any baby does not expend <laughs> they're playing a game in the other room does not expend as much of their energy in like trying to take care of their own body and they can use more of the energy they're using from food to actually grow so they don't lose as much weight at the hospital. 
where I have been on the edge of gestational diabetes. That's one thing they worry about is baby losing weight and not being able to keep sugars up. And both of those things can be helped by keeping baby skin to skin. So anyway, um, if you've watched our channel for a while, you know that we wear skirts for most of our... Are we good? No, the girls do. Yeah, <laughs> the girls. I'm wearing pants. Just that you want to come out here with me for a minute? So I um, wear skirts most of the time, but I had these pants. Well, it's actually an old skirt that my mom sewed up originally into like loose pants that I was wearing at bedtime. They had gotten ripped, but uh, Naomi fixed them for me. But I'm gonna wear these at the hospital because they still give me the loose flow, um, like wearing a skirt, except I can move in more positions while I'll be sitting on a hospital bed for possibly up to two days with baby. So these are for after baby's born. It'll be just the stuff I hang out in at the hospital. Oh, I forgot, gotta go back to baby coming home outfit. Mm. We have booties mm. that were made by our friend Cheyenne and a hat. I don't usually put hats on my babies because I was saying I like the smell, but in the car on the way home, we want a hat. Okay, I got socks, big and interesting, things like that. Um, for the, for wearing just around the hospital, I just have a black t-shirt. For wearing home, I have an outfit. Nothing big enough. Uh, sorry, it's just a skirt. Nothing big enough. It's a skirt. That's a skirt. Um, for labor, there's more stuff in there. For labor, I have an old t-shirt. I've had it for a long time. It's a picture of my dad that we had made up after my dad died. It's a big loose shirt that got stains on it and stuff. But I'm going to wear this in labor. And I'm going to wear this skirt, which used to be longer. But Naomi sewed it up for me because I wanted something a little shorter so I can move around in labor. But this one's getting threadbare. So we're going to use it and then I can throw it away <laughs> at the end if need be. Um, but I want to be able to move around in labor. But I don't want to wear a hospital gown if I don't have to. Because you don't have to wear hospital gowns at the hospital and it just makes you feel more like a patient or like you're there for reasons other than being able to just naturally birth a baby, which God has made your body to do. So you can wear your own clothes if you want to. I just wanted to wear something that if for some reason, like one time when I had a baby, I wore my own clothes and because of the position I was in, it was easier to just cut the skirt off of me than to um, take it off the other way. And so I just wanted something that was a little easier. So then I just have some undergarments if people want my undergarments, but <laughs> and then the last two things in my hospital bag are actually men's shirts. <laughs> I took two of men's, two of Mark's shirts. Yeah, you guys can put food on the table. It's supper time, but I was trying to do the video before it got dark. Um, I put two of Mark's shirts in the bags. This one's short sleeve. This one is long sleeve. And I wear these at the hospital so that I can have it on and I can unbutton it to put baby right um, skin to skin. So I do not wear um, a bra at the hospital or anything and baby is only in a diaper. And we just sit skin to skin with one of these shirts on and I can button up around baby if he's gonna be there for a long time. Um, if a doctor comes in the room, that type of thing. But if I'm ready to nurse, I can just unbutton and have access to feed baby. And we are there tucked in close together. So I will wear this, one of these two, depending on how warm I have the hospital room, um, to keep myself comfortable, but also keep myself modest. <laughs> Um, with other people. Then the last thing. No, this is a big bag. tote, but it's not a gigantic tote. Like, no. It's, it's a very manageable, maybe 10 pounds. I also know, so I have group B strep this time. They took the test that shows that. And because of our history of group B strep, they're going to want to keep me for as close to 48 hours as possible. Um, and so I have this planned as we're going to be there for a couple days. Um, if I didn't have groupie strep, I would be trying to get out of the hospital sooner, but we also want to make sure we are doing what's best for baby. So I wanted to pack a little extra. They didn't have to bring it. But if I forget something, our house is about 11 minutes from the hospital and they're going to come visit me. So they'll bring stuff with them. So the last thing in the bag is if you saw, I'm going to be laboring in this blue skirt. Naomi, the 17 year old, <laughs> was the one who picked that skirt up. She took the rest of the skirt material and she made a little baby doll for baby Elisha. She has little hair. Like, like <laughs> Isn't little it cute? Hair. Oh. Yeah, but the little hair. It's just such a cute little head of hair. You can tell which is the front with a little part and everything. It looks like a cow. It looks like a cowper's wig. <laughs> so anyway, she made this for the baby. So it's the last thing that's going in the bag. And we'll put this back in the um, truck 
car, van, van, whatever we have, van, so that we have it when it's time to go to the hospital. So that's the end. That's what I have in my hospital bag. If you have questions about what I have, or if I forgot something huge that you're like, I would never go to the hospital without this, leave it in the comments below because maybe it would be helpful for me or maybe it would be some helpful for someone watching this video. So we'll see you guys next time on Herding Little Cows to the Glory of God. Bye.